Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm going to show you how to make creme brulee. So this is one of my most favorite desserts because whenever I want to have a treat, I always love it when I can also include very nutrient dense ingredients. So here we're going to be having egg yolks and grass fed cream and then the sweetener is honey. Regular creme brulee is usually made with sugar, so I love that you can do it with honey and have it turn out really, really good. If you are on the GAPS diet, then you can tweak this recipe to be GAPS compliant by culturing the cream first. You can culture it with either yogurt or kefir culture, normally the same way that you would to make cultured cream, and then follow the rest of the recipe as I'm about to show you. So let's jump in and get started. I have my oven preheated to 320 degrees Fahrenheit, and then I'm going to start by adding my cream to a nice mixing pitcher. I like to use a pitcher because I can pour from it very easily later. And for this recipe, you're going to need one quart of cream. If you have access to raw cream, then that's ideal. I don't right now, so I am using the next best thing, which is this organic whipping cream from Kelowna Supernatural. It is low temp pasteurized. It's from small family farms, grass-fed cows, traditional breeds, all of the things that you wanna look for. It just has been low temp pasteurized. And cream is not damaged in the same way that milk protein is during pasteurization. So whenever I do not have access to as much raw cream as I would like, then this is the cream that I look for. So I need one quart, which is gonna be two bottles of these, and this is a one quart pitcher. So if I add everything right off the bat, it's gonna get a little bit full. So I'm just going to add that much of the cream for right now. And then the next thing that I need to add is six egg yolks. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, and then half a cup of honey. And then I'm just gonna whisk all of that together really well. One of the things I love about this recipe is that it does go together very, very quickly while still being, you know, it has the feeling of a fancy, very fancy type of a, a dessert. Okay, so at this point, I have a pretty good idea of how full my pitcher is, and I had enough room to be able to whip everything. If you have a bigger pitcher, then you can just throw everything in all at once, but I'm just being a little careful since mine is this size. So you do just want to make sure everything is very well combined, that those egg yolks are completely stirred in, um, the salt is dissolved, and you know, the vanilla and honey are are well combined. So since this is glass, then I just kind of look at the outside of it. Make sure I don't see any like bits of honey or anything that's that needs to be mixed in. Next thing that I'm going to do is pour this into little ramekin type dishes. I don't have ceramic little ramekin dishes. So I'm just using these little one cup glass containers inside my nine by 13 Pyrex pan and I found that that works just fine. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is to carefully add some water to the pan so that it comes up to half of the height of my little round dishes. And then I'm going to put them into my oven, 325 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm going to bake them until they're set which usually for this amount takes about 45 minutes. And to check them, I'm just gonna jiggle them and they are gonna seem a little bit liquidy even when they're done. And that's just because they will firm up more as they cool. You can see how they're very liquidy like this. 
they're gonna be thicker. Like still, you can still jiggle them, but you're gonna, they're gonna be noticeably set when they're ready. So 45 minutes. All right, and then when they come out, I'm going to show you the next step that gives them their fancy little crust on the top. All right, I've taken them out of the oven and you can see now that they're not solid, but they're set. So now comes the next step and I am going to drizzle a little bit of raw honey on the top of each one. And then comes the really exciting part. So I'm going to be using a flame torch. You can also do this step in the oven using a broiler. This is of course way more fun. So I'll, I'll be doing a giveaway over on Instagram the same day that this video goes live. So today, if you're seeing this video for the first time, you'll wanna head on over to my Instagram page and there'll be a post that has gone there, live there the same day that this video has gone live. So over there will be a post of the same recipe and that will have the directions of how you can enter to win one of these flame torches for yourself. There will be a link down in the description box where you can go find my Instagram and enter to win one of these. So the drawing will be going on for about a week. I haven't decided exactly how many days, but um, you haven't missed out if you're, you know, a little bit later. A few days after this has gone live, definitely still head on over there and see if it's still going on and enter to win. So this is the really fun part. So I'm gonna use this and you're just going to flame the top of these just until the honey caramelizes and so you get that nice caramely topping. So I'm gonna do that. So what this does is forms a nice caramelized crust over the top of these. So then what I like to do is just let them cool just a little bit and then they're ready to serve. They're really delicious on their own or you can slice some strawberries or serve them alongside some other fresh fruit. Either way, they're really delicious and they're always a hit around here. I hope that you enjoyed seeing how to make this recipe and if you would like to enter in the drawing to win one of these flame torches, make sure to check out that description box and head on over to my Instagram where you can enter that giveaway. Also check out that description box for links to free ebooks and other goodies. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would like it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.